in our last video we learn and gain knowledge about that how to choose storage account type and what are the actually differences between storage account general purpose v1 and general purpose v2 obviously these are the most uh, reliable and obviously most people like to choose this kind of storage account in terms of when they're trying to deploy their resources well then we need to understand that why Microsoft has introduced other two kind of storage account within the same uh, option when we are trying to choose the right storage account for our deployment. Hello guys, my name is Harsh Angra. Uh, in this video, we are going to understand that why we need to choose uh, block blob storage as a separate one and file storage as a separate one, especially when we are trying to create uh, the storage account type. Well, <laughs> you might have a question in your mind that, hey, Hirsch, uh, when we created this general purpose v1 and general purpose v2, we already found file storage options, which is also called file shares. And other one is containers, which has uh, blob stories. Then why we need to choose this separately? Well, that's exactly the questions most of the time we have. And we need to get the answer in this video. So this video will give you the clear idea that why you need to choose block blob storage as a separate uh, storage type or storage account type and why you need to choose file storage or consider uh, for the file shares separately when you're trying to create a new storage account type. Now, before to move forward, <laughs> uh, in case you have a question or in uh, like, you know, some some kind of query in your uh, mind that, hey, Hirsch, then is it is it not good if we choose just general purpose v2 well no that's not a case uh, i would uh, definitely suggest you to choose general purpose v2 all the time <laughs> you don't need to choose block blob storage in uh, uh, you know in general way to create a storage account type now why then you need to choose separately these two different kind of storage account types well let's discuss in this video and try to gather more information on that so guys Let's begin. So to understand a block blob stories that why we need to choose this separately and of course why we need to also choose a file storage during the creation of storage account type, I think this video is re really going to be helpful for you. The reason why is because I already told you that you can choose a general purpose V2 directly. It's absolutely fine because you already got all the advantages of using block blob storage and of course the file storage in one specific storage account type. Then exactly we need to find answer that why Microsoft has actually introduced block blob storage and file storage separately during the creation of storage account type. So obviously we can get all these answer in this particular video. So guys, to understand and to gather more details before to start explaining about these all points, I would like to mention that I try to summarize all those differences and information in a very, very summarized form. So I'm pretty sure after you understand this video, it will be very much clear to you and you will gain uh, confidence that why and what storage account you need to choose during the creation. So let's start understanding about blob types first because if you understand the blob types i think most of the thing you are very much you know uh, understand about when you choose a right storage account type so basically guys there are three kind of uh, blob types is actually available for us in azure the very first one is a block blob so to understand this block blob i need to give you one specific example so for example if you have a specific file uh, any file type it doesn't matter uh, uh, a photograph a video any kind of media file, any kind of text file, or any kind of uh, other media types, it is absolutely fine. So whenever you're saving these kind of files and upload these files to the blob storage, it actually consumes block blob storage for us. So basically what you can do, you can do uh, like, you know, read, write, delete, move, uh, you know, uh, replace all these operations together in one kind of blob storage and that's exactly is handled by block blob storage because it is unstructured you can save any kind of raw data straight in it all right so i hope you're pretty much clear about this the second uh, kind of uh, blob we have is append blob the append blob is basically used by azure virtual machines especially to create all sort of kind of logs for example when you create an uh, virtual machine it has actually you know 
uh, kind of serial logs or a boot diagnostics log that whether the VM is able to boot successfully or not. So these all information required append uh, blob. Basically, it does not replace, it does not add, it just keep append. You are not allowed to delete these operations. You are not allowed to modify these operations. It is just keep adding information. It won't allow you to delete, move or replace, right? So these kind of stories specially created for logs from the virtual machine level that requires append blob type or consider append blob storage. I think you are again clear on this too. Now the third one then the last one we have is a page blob. Now page blob is uh, basically when you create a Azure virtual machine, it does require a storage, which means it also create a virtual disk. And this disk is directly stored in a specific storage account in a container. So that container actually consumed with the page blob storage, which means you can, you know, uh, keep adding those disks, these VHDs straight in the uh, storage account in the storages. And that's how page blob actually comes into the picture. So the very first one as a recap for block, the block blob is basically for like, you know, any kind of file type you can store pretty simple for logs for Azure virtual machine, you have append blob and for VHD or a disks, from the Azure virtual machines, it actually stored and use page blobs from the blob storage. Clear? So yeah, I mean, if you understand this, and if you talk about block blob storage, so basically if you choose block blob storage during the creation of a storage account, it only and only support block blob storage and append blob storage. It does not support page blob storage. <laughs> All right. Now, obviously, these are very uh, important uh, advantages and disadvantages here to choose the right storage account type, because uh, obviously, if you are running a virtual machine and you'd like to choose block blob storage, obviously, it's not an ideal choice for you. The reason why is because it does not have a page uh, blob storage, which means you cannot store your disk operations for read write operation whatever and also one more thing uh, by default in a blog i mean in a blob storage you can store huge and maximum amount of data which can cons uh, consume approximate 35 terabyte and of course microsoft is keep increasing these uh, you know limits uh, from the storage level so it depends on currently in which data center you have and what kind of capacity we have in there but default uh, limit is 35 terabyte but if you talk about the page blob it, by default it has 8 terabyte it starts from 512 bytes and it goes maximum to 8 terabyte of a uh, page blob storage so currently if you choose block blob storage it does not support page storage don't worry i will show you in a practical and it will help you to you know understand more about it now next question then why <laughs> we need to choose like blob storage or at least this kind of blob storage especially uh, when we uh, you know creating a uh, like new storage account type. Well, guys, uh, just one answer on that. Because if you choose, uh, or like if you choose a specific disk, it directly uh, relates to the performance, right? So when you choose a block blob storage, that means you, your organization uh, need a block blob storage, or at least a blob storage, which required a huge amount of operations, which are high lightning speed, Overall, you need like these read write operation pretty fast. I mean, everything should be done all the all the fast things, especially let's say web hosting. Uh, if uh, if any you you create a website, for example, and you allow users to upload the photos, you allow users to upload their videos straight on the platform you have created in a website, then yes, block block storage are right choices for you. But indeed. If you choose a default one, or let's say you don't have these kind of spatial requirement, then I think general purpose V2 is a right choice for you. Okay. Now, if we talk about a little bit more about these standard disks and premium disk, I think you're pretty much clear, but let me just remind again or recap again. So the standard disks are nothing but just, they have a magnetic disks, which are like old standard, which has 7,200 uh, RPM, maximum goes to 10,000 RPM and it's actually quite slow. And of course, because they are slow, 
they are of course cheaper. So obviously where you do not require a very fast uh, kind of read write operation or to store information in the blob storage, I think you can choose standard disks and there it's fine to choose uh, normal general purpose V2. But again, if you choose a premium storage or premium disks during the creation of a storage account, because this premium disk is directly related to SSDs, uh, solid state drives, which are actually blazing fast. Uh, they have a great RPMs, great performances. And of course, uh, this is actually quite expensive in terms of if you choose this kind of uh, storage type. Because uh, I would like to share with you that when you create these uh, storage information, so what kind of uh, things you can find uh, during the creation. So in a minute, I will share with you. So uh, just remember one thing very clear. So if you choose general purpose V1 and general purpose V2 with the premium disk, you all will get a page blob with the performance because table blob, this blob kind of storage is like table, queue, file storage, they are not going to use your high performance uh, or you can say the premium disk for that because they are using the same standard disk during the creation or they, they are not uh, actually considered as a part of a blazing fast performance at the moment. Uh, not sure if Microsoft has a plan at the moment to uh, support these uh, table, queue, file storages if you choose general purpose V2 with the high performance disks. But indeed, uh, when you choose a premium disk, you will get a high performance page blob if you choose or you have, you know, during the creation of general purpose V1 storage account and general purpose V2 storage account. The another thing, if you have a requirement, as I repeat again, that you have a, you know, have a web hosting services and you need a very, very fast speed of, uh, you know, read, write operation and uploading these data straight in the blob storage, then I think you should choose and the right choice for us is a block blob storages or block blob uh, storage account. Why? Because it does support block blob storage where, you know, people can store their all sort of kind of file types. And if you have a specific server, which is actually generating a very high speed uh, of kind of operations and it's all about the logs, basically, because uh, I, I, I remember that we are using sometimes a Cisco devices. We are having a checkpoint devices and, of course, other Juniper devices. These are network devices. They have a very high blazing speed, uh, especially to save all the logs, like who is doing what, the authorization, the authentication, all sort of kind of applications they are using. You can also give uh, the block blob storage access so that these operation will be strongly and with a high speed or very high IO is going to be stored or with perf great performances is going to be uh, there during the storage or during the operations of read write in a block blob storage. And yeah, we, we talk about there, it's all about append storage. But just remember, if you choose block blob storages, page blobs are not there for you. So that's the reason you need to understand. And I think this picture is cleared out for you. So let's try to learn more about in a practical manner that if you choose a right storage account type, what kind of information you can find during the creation. And then we will come back and try to recap and let's we will also go a little bit further on a file storage. But let's try to gather more on a practical manner in the storage account deployment. So now we understand the differences between blob types. Obviously we have covered block blob, append blob, and the page blob. So if you already know the differences between these three different kind of types, and of course, you already know that which storage account you should choose, obviously during the creation. Obviously, if you ask me, <laughs> general purpose V2 is absolutely fine to create, but uh, in a very, very specific uh, situation or a very specific uh, kind of conditions from your organization or the application owners, you may need to create block blob storage type. So let's do one thing. Let's try to understand and create these uh, storage types. But remember, uh, you're gonna take all these advantages only if you choose premium disks. I think for the standard disk, uh, I think general purpose V2 is the right option for you. So don't go for block blob storage uh, during the creation. So let's let's try to understand a little bit more during the creation and it won't take much time on understanding that why you need to create such kind of account types. So to create a right storage account type, so let's go to uh, storage 
uh, account first, this plate. And after this plate, obviously I'm not going to go through all these kind of details. I'll try to do it quick. So I already choose the right subscription here and choose, uh, you know, whatever the resource type. I give any name, uh, test Hirsch as an example. So it doesn't matter which uh, currently region I should choose here because we are understanding or try to understand the right uh, storage account type. So as you choose standard, obviously you can find version two, which is storage version, version two, version one, general purpose V1 and blob storage. So, uh, I mean, <laughs> if you choose blob storage, the very first thing you need to understand, it will show you that uh, this actually, uh, actually this replication performance type only support block and append blobs, page blobs, file share, tables and queue will not be available if you choose block storage or blob storage, which is a block blob storage basically. All right. So, uh, so you need to understand that if you have a requirement for creating a uh, table uh, kind of storage or using table storage, queue storage, I think this is not a right storage account type for you. But yeah, obviously if you choose uh, storage V2, you will not see these kind of information right below um, under the account kinds. But, but if you choose a premium account, you can see something is changed here. Now you can find account with selected kind replication performance per only support page blobs, block blobs, append blobs, file share, table queues will not be available in V2. <laughs> All right, so you, you are understanding, right? So basically, if you need a faster operations uh, to upload, you know, things for the web hosting, or let's say, as I mentioned, for the websites. So I think uh, general purpose V2 is not a right storage account for you. But if you choose block storage or block blob storage here because not name is changed here and of course it also shows file storage don't worry in a minute i will show you although file storage is in a in a preview model at the moment uh, but again i would give you some a basic information on that uh, first thing first uh, block blob storage if you choose this you can read this information this account count allow you to create azure block blobs with premium performance uh, that can be only tailored to your hand, but they do not talk about page blob. And to clarify, account with selected kind replication performance type only support block and append blobs. Page blobs, file shares, tables, and queues will not be available, right? So this is pretty much clear to everyone in what condition, in what scenario you need to create these account type. So similarly, if you just choose file storage, this will show you this will only create Azure file shares. It will not create block blob. It will not help you in append or page blob only in file shares kind of storage information where people can, you know, store information and share in their files and folders across different regions. I already uh, discussed about the file storage in general, but don't worry. In upcoming video, we will talk about the practical as well. So guys, yeah, I mean, this is the uh, options and this is the information I would like to share with you in terms of uh, understanding of this, you know, account creation type. So uh, I think it's not that hard, correct? And again, <laughs> in general, storage V2 is good, overall good. But if they have a very specific information for using block uh, blobs and append blobs, file shares, then yeah, I think the last two uh, you need to consider in that situation. But I think it's not bad to choose a storage V2 overall for uh, great purposes because everybody care about their money. And uh, as far as uh, I have seen in the organization, even in the bigger enterprises, they like to go for standard performance because they always care about the money. <laughs> right their management so that's the reason i mentioned guys uh that better storage v2 or general purpose v2 is good here but now you already know the differences and you're pretty much clear about it i'm happy for that <laughs> all right guys so finally we understand the differences between general purpose v1 v2 and choose block blob storage during the creation of storage account um, i think it's not that hard right <laughs> but yeah you need to know what are blob types what is the difference between block append and page blobs if you're already cleared on these concepts uh, it's not that hard to choose the right option for uh, creation a right storage account 
So uh, right now, as a recap, obviously, as I mentioned, that if you choose a general purpose V1 and V2 storage, uh, and obviously you choose a premium disk, uh, and of course, with the premium disk, you will get only the page blob uh, advantages. You won't find block blobs or append blobs in that scenario. But if you choose uh, block, uh, block storages, obviously you only get uh, block storages or block blob advantages. You won't find page blob advantages during the creation. So pretty simple and pretty clear. But one more thing I would like to mention that why then Microsoft uh, actually suggest you to choose block blob storage on the premium storages or premium uh, performance selection because uh, they believe that it actually provides you a very low latency performance and of course has a consistent performance behavior which actually helps you to overall uh, you know gather the great performances during the all kind of read and write operations whatever you're trying to upload information uh, inside those kind of blob storages so pretty clear pretty neat and i don't think so you find any differences or difficulties during understanding this and the, as a last on a recap that for the file storage, obviously, if you have a consideration where people are looking for uh, uh, sharing their files with the faster performances, then I think uh, file storage over premium disks are great advantages, comes with the great advantages because it has uh, high performance. Uh, in terms of high performance means uh, I'm talking about the great IOPS, input, output, always, uh, you know, kind of... Uh, uh, read write operations on the disk drives because let's say if you have a one disk you have 500 IOPS but if you combine two disks together you will have 500 plus 500 so combined it's 1000 IOPS so similarly if you choose a great uh, storage uh, information or let's say blob storage because it has all like terabytes of terabytes uh, you know in <laughs> uh, storage is available for you so combine all those kind of IOPS uh, so it's really uh, gives you a great performances. Don't worry in uh, when we talk about IOPS We will talk about more in Azure VMs and of course in further stories, but let's go step by step So whenever uh, somebody talk about IOPS, it's all about they are giving the uh, kind of limitation or uh, give you some idea on read write operations on a hard drive Just just think about that only nothing much um, so yeah guys I mean <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching this video and um, I'm pretty sure uh, that it's really helpful for you to understand the differences between all different kind of storage account types available for us and uh, obviously you find this uh, video also helpful so uh, obviously I will keep continue on making uh, Azure storage videos because a couple of more videos are on their way and uh, they're going to be help us to understand that what are the features available because if we understand the concept clearly uh, when we do more in depth uh, you know technologies or practical in AZ104 certification it will be really much helpful for you uh, and definitely uh, it's very easy for me to also explain you because I don't want to repeat all these basic concepts again and again in depth I'll just start with the recap and go with the practical straight away uh, all right guys so let's wrap this video up right now and I will see you in the next video till then take care of your health please guys it's a COVID-19 situation uh, I really want that you will take care of your health so that we can meet in all these upcoming videos and learn together and of course build our knowledge together so for right now take care see you bye bye peace